What's up beach bums? I'm out here on a fishing trip and it has been tough. Conditions are pretty terrible. We're on a deep tide. We got dirty water. Pretty much all we've been catching are a bunch of hardheads. I've been wondering what these things taste like. I've had a million people ask me. I've never tried it. So we caught one and I'm gonna eat it. We've been catching them all morning. So this guy's going in the cooler. This is just your standard hardhead catfish. Nothing special. So we're gonna toss him on ice, find out what he tastes like. I don't mind if I keep this catfish, do you? You can have him. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. There he goes. We did manage a couple of whiting, but uh, that's about it. But we're gonna see what this joker tastes like. Catfish are public enemy number one for surf fishing. They are the most annoying species that you can catch. I've never eaten it. I've had a lot of you ask, so I'm about to clean this one up. I'm going to see what the fillets look like. I've never filleted one. I've used some for bait sometimes, but we're going to see what this looks like. There he is. Oh, yeah. He's not very big. We were catching some bigger ones. In case you don't know, saltwater catfish are pretty toxic with their spines. They've got three on here and you do not want to get poked by one of these obviously freshwater catfish have them as well but these saltwater cats have some kind of toxins on them um, i actually got hit you might can kind of see the scar a little bit it's right there about three months ago and i still have trouble opening and closing my hand without it hurting there's <laughs> evidently some nerve damage my whole arm hurt uh for about an hour or two while i was on that trip it was pretty excruciatingly painful so you want to be very careful with these spines so i'm going to try to be careful while i'm cleaning it hopefully it'll turn out okay Okay, so initial impression, the meat looks orange almost. It's, it's disgusting. Um, I did not bleed this fish. I don't know if that would help or not, but uh, definitely not looking good so far. A quick comparison, look at the catfish fillets next to these whiting fillets. And I don't know how well you can see on here, but uh, there's a difference. <laughs> this is much, much wider meat than this, so I'm a little nervous already. I have shown this fish no special treatment whatsoever. I did not bleed him. I didn't soak him in milk. And I'm just going to cook this. Where is it at? Uh, here it is. I'm just going to cook this like I would most any other fish. This is like the easiest way that I can come home and cook fish for lunch is just baking it and I just use lemon pepper and some butter. And so I'm gonna cook it with the whiting because obviously I don't have a whole lot of catfish and I anticipate my hypothesis is it's not gonna be very good, but I don't know, who knows, we'll see. Uh, so I've got lunch at least, but I'm gonna cook it the same way. So we'll be able to do a little bit of a comparison versus a fish that we know tastes good versus a fish that we are uncertain of. Yum, yum, look at that. I don't know if you can tell on the on this, but it, I'm tell, it looks orange almost. It's like really nasty looking. And I've, I have not bled, um, I've, I've had cell cat before and I don't bleed those and they, they're fine. So I don't know, this is looking pretty suspect though. And I'm doing some instant mashed potatoes for our side. And I love instant mashed potatoes, man. If you like them, comment below. I think they're some of the best. There goes nothing. Our catfish is cooking and I'm a little bit nervous about this one. You know, I've, I've always said that I, if you cook 
any fish fresh that it'll probably taste good. But I'm pretty skeptical about this particular fish because it looks nasty. That meat just looks disgusting. And I'm not frying it. You know, a lot of people would probably fry it like you would a freshwater catfish, but I'm, I'm getting the full experience. I'm treating it like any other fish. So we will find out if it's any good. Did you want me to close the garage? You can leave it open. Courtney has shown up to Hello. join the experience. I'm a. Uh, hey. Say hey. Tell me. Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm doing today? No. She doesn't know what I'm Fishing? doing. Fishing? <laughs> You're all That's a good guess. I'm cooking hard head catfish. Ew. Yeah. I mean, I guess I've never tasted it, so. We're about to find out. <laughs> Courtney was kind enough to hold the camera for us. Here's our completed product. This is our little tiny catfish fillets, and this is all the whiting. We'll see how it turns out. Well, here it goes. I am slightly nervous about this, but we are going to see if it's if it's any good. So let's cut into it. show it to you if you can see man this does not look very appetizing It's not bad, <laughs> actually. Let me try it again. Let's see, we'll get another bite. It does, <laughs> Annalise is excited about it. It doesn't taste fishy. The texture's a little different, it's a little weird, but it's not mushy, it's, it's actually kind of firm. Um, Really not that bad. I mean, I would eat it. It's totally, totally edible. Let's see, let's try a bite of whiting now. I mean, we know whiting's good. The whiting is definitely better. It's a better texture and it does have a better flavor to it. But the catfish is really not bad. This is not bad at all. It it's very mild. I taste the lemon pepper. I mean, it tastes like the seasoning I put on it. If I was hungry, I'd definitely eat it again. <laughs> it's not that bad. Not bad at all. I don't think I'd be keeping them for my clients because it's just kind of weird, but it wasn't bad. Wasn't bad at all. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to try catfish, it's not that bad if you eat it fresh. I caught this maybe like two hours ago now, so it's extremely fresh. But if you're just hungry, looking for fish, it's not that bad. Guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Hope it helps you out. And as always, you stay bummy.